Scott BVN. I'm standing right here on the red carpet for tonight's event. Man, it went down right here in Austin, Texas, right here at the downtown Hilton for the 2015 Small Business Award Gala. There were over a dozen honorees this evening. Also, a Lifetime Achievement Award for, to Richard Overton, the oldest surviving World War II veteran. Yes, he was here at tonight's event. Lifetime Achievement Award, Keith Scott, Black Video News. Keith Scott, BVN, right here at tonight's event, the 2015 Small Business Awards Gala. And I'm standing right here with the highest ranking judge ever, Chief Wallace Jefferson. How have you been, sir? I've been great, thank you. It's good to be here. Good, good. Well, what brought you out tonight? And uh, actually, I want to ask you a couple of questions. But the first question is, what brought you out tonight to celebrate and be a part of tonight's event, sir? Well, I want to support these great, small, black-owned businesses who are doing so much for Austin and for the state of Texas. It is a, a tremendous honor to be part of this. Yes, sir. Uh, one of the things I wanted to uh, touch on was, what have you been doing since you've been the highest-ranking judge? Uh, with that title. What's been going on in your life and what are you doing to stay active now in our community right here in Austin? Because I know you're from San Antonio right. too as well. So, Well, I left the Supreme Court of Texas about a year and a half ago. It was a great privilege to be this state's Chief Justice, the first African American Chief Justice ever in the history. Uh, but it was time for a change. After 13 years, I wanted to get back into private life when I was still a relatively young man. Yes, sir. And so now I'm in private practice, and I represent uh, people in San Antonio, in Texas, in Austin, and in state and federal court. And I'm I'm just having a ball. Well, you know, we know you did an awesome job. That's why you were the highest ranking judge ever. But I wanted to talk about too some of the things and changes Austin's doing a lot when we talk about in the community with the small businesses. What are some of the things that you can uh, emphasize? on that would make a difference in Austin in the community, sir? Well, I'll tell you, the leaders here in Austin are looking at uh, African Americans, especially the youth, and how they are doing in schools, and they are changing the system. It used to be for many years that if you were African American and you uh, cried out, you violated school policy, yes, there would be a Class C misdemeanor ticket issued against you. Yes, sir. And leaders here in Austin said, no, this is not the way we should do it. We need to keep people in school uh, and, and eliminate this pipeline from schools to the prisons, and they've been doing fantastic. Wow, that's a rare, very strong valid point, uh, Chief. Uh, one of the things, too, I wanted to touch on, um, are you currently not doing anything in the judicial system right now at this point in time, or you just kind of just took a back seat with that right now? Uh, it's no, no longer a judge, but I have been engaged in public service. You know, one of the responsibilities I think lawyers have is to represent those who cannot afford lawyers for free. And so I've taken some of those cases and I'm hoping to have some success with them in the near future. Well, if you had, if you have any, if you had the same success that you had as the highest ranking judge, we know you're going to do a great job with what you're doing now. I want to thank you for taking the time out to talk with me this evening. I'm not going to hold you up because it's a huge event. I'm going to let you get back, judge, and enjoy it. But thank you so much for taking well, the time out. Thank you so much, and thanks for what you do every day. Thank you, sir. It. Keith Scott with the highest ranking judge, Judge Chief. Wallace, you got to love it, baby. Keith Scott, BVN. We'll get back at you in a minute, baby. Thank you. So tonight, moving forward, we ask you all to engage at a new level. Transportation, affordable housing, livable wages, equitable policies across the board, inclusive systems, all demand teamwork. And whether you live in Pflugerville or Round Rock or Kyle or Buter or Bastrop, you are Black Austin. None other than Zane Hall, the actor. He's one of tonight's honorees. He played in the movie Whitewater that was on TV One. Man, how you doing, Zane? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing. I'm doing good, uh, young man. How, I wanted to talk about how do you feel about being uh, one of tonight's honorees? Oh um, well, you see, I I want I want to live like this. Just go to a party, sit back, relax, get fed, get dined, and just see everybody that you know and see all all these new faces and. Yeah, this is a great experience. Wow, that's awesome. That's a great comment. What are some of the things that you'd like to do with your acting career, young man? I I want I want to I want to have my own I want to have my own TV show. It's oh. like just Zane 
how he lives, how he, how he, how he acts, how he plays, how his family is, all that type of stuff. Wow, man, that's exciting, Zane. How well, whenever, if I make enough money, I'm going to start, like, helping, whenever I get, like, to the age limit, I'm going to start helping, like, the homeless and all that stuff, and I'm going to, like, build this, um, build this foundation to help, um, research this disease, it's not a disease, but it is, it's kind of, it's a dump. Uh, it's a uh, blood okay. disease. Uh -huh. It's called um, sickle cell, and sickle cell. It's a cell that stops, stops in, stops in your body, and then it makes that um, hurt, and then it sticks all the other good cells, and then it just kind of like clogs it. But blood still goes through, but it just hurts right there. Wow. But yeah, I'm gonna try to yeah, help with that. That's one of your, your visions and one of your goals to do, huh, Zane? Well, Zane, you're doing an awesome job. We all love you. I loved you in the movie White Water. Keep doing what you're doing, young man, and thank you for taking the time out to talk to Keith Scott and BVN. And good luck to you in the future, okay, young man? Okay. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, young man. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You're quite welcome.